Werewolves, also known as lycanthropes, are mythological or folkloric creatures that have fascinated the human imagination for centuries. The story of werewolves stretches across many cultures, each with its unique take on this creature that is part human, part wolf. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and comment. The concept of werewolves possibly dates back to Europe during the Middle Ages, but tales of people shape-shifting into wolves and other animals can be found in much older cultures. For instance, the Greek legend of Lycaon, a king of Arcadia who was transformed into a wolf by Zeus as punishment for attempting to serve him human flesh, is an early example of werewolf mythology. In European folklore, particularly in Eastern Europe and the regions influenced by Norse mythology, the werewolf was often portrayed as a malevolent creature with a taste for human blood. These stories were perpetuated even further by the witch trials during the late Middle Ages and the early modern period, where individuals were sometimes accused of lycanthropy. There were various beliefs about how one could become a werewolf. Among the most common notions was that it was a curse, often inflicted by a witch or as a result of a person's own sins. Another traditional belief was that a person could transform by wearing a belt or a pelt made of wolf skin. During the full moon, even unwilling individuals were said to shape-shift into a wolf, a concept that has persisted in modern representations. During transformation, a human would take on the physical characteristics of a wolf, gaining enhanced strength, a heightened sense of smell, and in some stories, they could even spread their condition to others through biting, which is another theme common in modern tales. Not all legends depicted werewolves as inherently evil. Some Norse warriors, called berserkers, were said to channel the ferocity of wolves or bears in battle and were viewed with awe and respect. In some cultures, a werewolf could be a guardian and protector, fighting against darker forces. The werewolf myth continued to evolve over the years. Gothic literature of the 18th and 19th centuries rekindled fascination with werewolves. This era produced stories such as The Wolf Leader by Alexander Dumas and The Werewolf by Clemens Hausmann. The portrayal of werewolves further changed with the advent of cinema. Universal Pictures' The Wolf Man 1941 created many of the conventions that would become standard in werewolf films, including the transformative power of the full moon and the creature's vulnerability to silver. Today, werewolves are a staple of popular culture, appearing in books, films, and television series. Modern renditions sometimes put a new spin on the myth, involving genetics and virus-like conditions, or sometimes present werewolves as more sympathetic characters or even heroes. The story of werewolves speaks to the human condition, to our fear of the wild unknown, and perhaps to a deep-seated, primordial connection to the natural world. The myth is timeless, and as long as human culture exists and evolves, werewolves will likely continue to howl in our collective imaginations. As the myth of the werewolf blossomed across different cultures, it began to take on a rich tapestry of meanings and interpretations. Werewolves became symbols for a multitude of human experiences and emotions. In some societies, the werewolf myth echoed the fears and prejudices of the time, often merging with the real-life horrors of rabies outbreaks, which made the victims exhibit animal-like symptoms before succumbing to the disease. As such, werewolves became a projection of societal stigmas, where the afflicted could represent the ostracized or misunderstood members of society. Psychologically, the transformation from man to wolf has been read as a symbol for the struggle between the civilized and the instinctual within each individual. The werewolf then embodies the part of the human psyche that is uncontrollable and primal, resonant with the Freudian concepts of ID and the human capacity for violence and savagery beneath the veneer of society. In recent years, there has been a feminist reinterpretation of the werewolf legend. Women, traditionally depicted as victims or sorceresses in werewolf myths, Myths, are now portrayed as the werewolves themselves, empowering the archetype with themes of liberation from patriarchal constraints and exploring the wild, untamed aspects of femininity. Each iteration of the werewolf myth reflects the changing values, fears, 
and norms of the cultures that retell it. Contemporary stories often highlight themes of alienation, the burden of secrets, and the search for identity, resonating with a modern audience while still preserving the core of the ancient narratives. Intertwined with these modern tales is an increasing awareness of humanity's relationship with nature. In a world grappling with environmental destruction and loss of biodiversity, the werewolf can serve as a poignant metaphor for the rewilding of landscapes and the restoration of natural balances. Beyond visual media, the past several decades have seen a surge of werewolves in literature, with authors like Anne Rice, Patricia Briggs, and Kelly Armstrong contributing sophisticated and emotionally nuanced portrayals of werewolves in their novels. Moreover, the Western concept of the werewolf has crossed cultural boundaries, influencing and blending with shapeshifter myths worldwide, from the skinwalkers of Native American folklore to the war tigers of Asia. The tale of the werewolf continues to evolve, both a relic of the past and a continually renewing narrative woven into the fabric of current pop culture. It stands as a testament to our perennial fascination with the idea that within us all, there lies a more untamed self, waiting for the light of the full moon to be freed. As long as humanity grapples with the duality of its nature, the legend of the werewolf is likely to endure, adapt, and flourish.